it's quite possible you may want to open multiple MIDI parts in the MIDI editor. This has been implemented very nicely. Multi-object editing lets you view and edit notes from multiple MIDI objects within the same MIDI editor. To display MIDI data from multiple MIDI objects in the Matrix Editor, do the following. Firstly, you need to select the desired MIDI objects. Then go to the menu item MIDI, MIDI Editor. Or simply right-click on one of the objects and choose MIDI Editor from the Context menu. Or alternatively, click on the MIDI Editor button at the bottom. The contents of the selected MIDI objects will now be displayed in the MIDI editor. At the moment, the notes are all the same colour, but in order to distinguish the individual parts, I'm going to the menu item, Options, Use Track Colours. So now we have the individual MIDI parts displayed based on the object colour. Purple represents the violins. Green represents the violas. Red represents the cellos, and blue represents the double basses. There are various filter options for multi-object MIDI editing. I will go through them now. Go to the menu item Options, and enable Range Notes Visualization for Current Object. Now when I select a note relating to one object, all notes for that object will be highlighted. Notes for other objects will be dimmed. Notice also that when I enable that option, the Highlight Current Object icon turns blue. You can use this instead of going to the Options menu if you prefer. Left-clicking on the arrow will give you a named list of the selected objects. Choosing a new name from the list will highlight the corresponding notes in the MIDI editor. Clicking on a different coloured note will achieve the same result. There is also a Track Display filter. You can find this in the Options menu under Track Filter. You can also enable it by clicking on the Track Display Filter button. When this is enabled, the currently selected MIDI part remains highlighted. As this enables Protected mode, clicking on another part will not make it active. This mode is useful if you have MIDI notes relating to another MIDI part in close proximity and do not want to accidentally move them. This protected mode will help you avoid this and allow you to edit only the active part. To make another part active, click on the downward arrow next to the Track Filter button and choose from the list. This chosen part will now become highlighted and the others will be dimmed. You can also choose to hide the filtered MIDI data. Go up to the Options menu and select Hide Filtered MIDI Data. This will leave you with just the unfiltered part visible. To make another part visible, just select from the drop-down list. When using this multi-object mode, it's also possible to copy MIDI notes from one MIDI object to another. Select the notes you want to copy and press Ctrl plus C. Select the target MIDI part from the track filter list. The target part now becomes visible. Make sure the play cursor is at the correct position and press Ctrl plus V to paste. Remember you can adjust the pitch of selected notes by pressing the up and down arrows. If you need to see the other parts, just disable the track filter. You can also use the track filter to highlight individual groups of objects. I'm going to split these objects into individual one bar sections. I'm placing the play cursor at bar 2 and pressing T to split the objects. I'm going to repeat that procedure for bars 3 and 4. Reselect the objects and reopen the MIDI editor. Enable the Highlight Current Object button. The last clicked object is now highlighted, including the multi-selection for that bar. I can now mouse through the bars to highlight them. I can also enable the track filter to work on individual string parts within that selected object.